Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this Appium with the WebDriver IO series, today we are going to see how we can create multiple configurations based on the Android and iOS configurations. Okay. So in our previous session, we have seen that how to change the capabilities with respect to the iOS and then we have changed the spec file path as well, right? Which is like difficult and uh, time consuming to kind of comment and uncomment different things. Now, why not we can share this configuration for Android and iOS and based on that, we can run that, okay? To make it more easier. So there are a couple of changes that we need. So let's try to do one by one. Okay, there are a lot of different other ways as well. Today we are going to see this basic configuration based on the WebDriver IO documentation. But as we go over and learn more, we can restructure or improvise the way that we are using this particular project. Okay, so for this, the first thing that I am going to do is to create two different configuration files. Now let me do one thing. I will copy, I will create a new file. Let's say that. Okay. I'll say that WDIO dot iOS dot config dot TS. Let's say that I'm doing like this, or maybe I can do like this WDIO config or maybe yeah, config dot iOS dot TS. Okay. So th this is one file. Okay. Now here, what I need to specify couple of things I need to specify like the capabilities, right? And then like, let's say that uh, the spec files that I need. Okay. So those things I need to specify. I will keep this one as my, the first priority. Like this is my main configuration file. Anything that is common to Android and iOS, you can keep it inside this, like the Appium server. It is very common to Android and iOS, right? So I'm keeping it. But then let's say that uh, the spec file, like uh, if you see that this spec is kind of uh, different for your iOS specific, right? So what I'm going to do, the first thing is that uh, it's kind of inheritance concept. First thing is that I have to inherit this config.ts content into the iOS side. How do I do that? So there is a simple way that I will just import the config from, from where? from the actual configuration file. And that is nothing but the WDIO conf. So this is the first thing that I'm going to do here. Now what I'm going to do, I'll say config. And now this configuration is nothing but this entire configuration, whatever you see that. And I can access any of this auto compile option, specs, exclude, max instances, the capabilities, service, anything, any of these, parameters that I can access into this. So that is the beauty of sharing this. Now I will say here config dot, I'll say config dot specs actually here. I'll say this one. Now inside this, I need to specify specific to my, what do you call the iOS? I'll do one thing. I'll copy this one, paste it just to keep it safe. And now here, let's say that I'm going to completely delete this one because I don't want to keep this specs file into my common config.ts file. Okay. I'm going to take it to here. Now here, I need to copy paste the configuration file, this one, right? So I'll just copy this one into this. That's it. That is my first step that I'm doing. Now, anything that you want to play with, you can play with here actually. So there is no problem with that. Fine. Now the next thing is that I need to export this one actually so that it would be easy for me. Now what I'm going to do export, okay, or exports dot config, okay, equal to config file. This config file I want to export dot config. I need to do this one. Now what will happen when I specify this one into my package dot JSON? Now see this is referring to the original or the main configuration file, right? Now I need to specify this config.ios. I'll show you that in a moment. Let me keep it as it is for now. I don't know what is the error here it is showing. Let's see that. Okay. So this is now the next thing is that I need to set up the capabilities also, right? Which is very specific to the iOS only. So I'll say config dot capabilities and I will say equal to now here inside this array, I need to specify all the capabilities. 
now let me copy paste this entire thing here i will do a cut actually here because i don't need these things so i'll come back here i'll put it inside this okay and now i'll go back here i'll delete this entire thing here i don't need the same thing i can do for android as well we'll do that in a moment and here this is a join right so i'll just oops sorry not this one so that the error is gone here now these are the two things that i am specifying at this moment let's say that i want to have the log level as well now if it is ios then i need to take the log level equal to here i'll say that let's say info level logs i want to specify here okay now the same thing i can create one for my android also so i'll do a copy and then i'll do a paste and i will rename this one to android actually here this is specific to the android now let's change couple of things into the android here it has to be this is my android you see that so here this says to take the specs from the android folder actually here okay and now the next thing all the capabilities from where i should get from here right again the same thing which we did for ios i'll do a control x and i actually i don't need this capabilities itself i can delete it now let's go to this android and change this one completely to android one uh, let's see what is the error here it is coming i don't know i can leave this as empty it's saying that the capabilities option should be here but it's not required really but because it is throwing the error i'm keeping it as empty but android has its own let's say that all the android error levels i want to only capture it okay there are a lot of log levels are there if you go to this control f log level and you should see that trace debug info one error everything is there let's say that all the debug level i need for this one so you can specify anything specific to your android here there is no restrictions and then you can just do this export.config equal to config here okay so these things you can do at the end okay fine now if you see that the package.json it actually accepts the wdio.conf.ts the main one but then if you come back to here not everything is present here right like the capabilities specs everything we have removed actually so how do we redirect this package.json to handle all these things so for this what we can do we can change a bit this one so here i can even comment this one also there is no problem but then you can keep as it is also now inside this i will be creating another wdio section actually let's say that i want to say for android now here i need to specify for this particular wdio colon android which file it should take and that file is nothing but dot android okay the same thing i will be copying for ios as well and now this is for ios and this is to be for ios that's it no comma is required okay now see everything is ready there is no errors are there you have android and ios specific commands are already present I, I just copy pasted these things actually and the way that you are concatenating this WDIO conf with this see now the thing is that when I want to run let's say android specific things I want to run what we used to do WDIO we used to do now you just need to do this WDIO colon android what happens it goes to this particular section okay now it searches for this particular file and which is this one right wdio config dot actually this is conf so i can rename this one to conf actually and here also the same thing just i mean whichever name you are specifying just make sure that here also same name is there now this will go to this conf dot android dot ts so this is the file now what happens whatever you specified here that takes on the priority okay then it will go to the wdio conf here now let's say that i have specified certain default capabilities in this okay 
like if you go to the con capabilities section i have specified let's say browser okay to run this web driver io test case into the browser but because i am telling that don't use this one rather you use the wdio colon android this capabilities whatever i've specified is overridden by this one actually so that it executes all those android related test cases let's say ios related test cases you just need to do npm run wdio colon ios so then what will happen it will go to the ios specific configuration finds out all these uh, parameters then it will go to your actual wdio.com file to make sure that whatever the common things are picked up from here the capabilities okay so it's just i have specified the capabilities then the log level or like let's say the specs even you can get the appium as well let's say that now if you go to this the appium is running now into the 4723 port you can see it's a global port i have specified let's say you want to have two different ports let's say that you want to run these two conf dot android conf dot ios into parallel let's say now in that case you can't use the same 4723 port right you have to specify differently now the appium service which you have used here right the services appium command okay so this one you can specify individually for android and ios you just need to put another command here command here and then you can specify the uh, what do you call the port as well let's say that i'm copy pasting this one for android and then the port i need is 4725 let's say that 4725 you can specify this for ios you need a different port 4726 you can specify that so individually whatever you need you can copy paste to your specific con.ts file that's how it will be picked up from there now let's try to run this so for this i will be now launching my ios simulator first and let's run whether this is picking up from this particular con.ios or not so let me launch my simulator okay and now let's keep this opened and now let's go to the terminal and npm run wdio colon ios which will be picked up the this particular ts file and run the test case and if you see that in this particular we have taken from the ios file now let's run And you can see it was already logged in in my previous session that's why the cart option is coming and i just clicked it and that is the beauty of this try catch block which i have written it but then the concept is that now just with one command without changing anything anything into the configuration i could able to run this ios test case now if you want to run the android and i have to make sure that the android simulator is ready and then run it now let's just see that which spec file it is picking it up it will not run it but let's see that and you can see that if you here you will see it just picks up all the android related capabilities which is present in this particular file actually that is what i wanted to show for sure it will fail because the simulator is not ready but you could see that the capabilities are picking up from here and i should able to see the spec file and you can see the spec file is also related to the android so that's how it runs your test cases now you under this android you can have specific packages like login settings themes whatever it is there and based on that you can keep writing the test cases the same thing under ios also you can keep writing the test cases but then the concept is that you need to make sure the capabilities are different for these things like as I told in the between that there are a lot of different ways to specify these things. There is one quicker way. Let me first close this. Actually, I don't need this one to run. I'll control C. So there are different ways also. Like I have seen one more way where what people are doing, they're utilizing the same configuration file, the base configuration file or the main configuration file. Now what they do before to this, they will specify all the capability combinations. Okay. Based on, see, these are nothing but at the end, the objects actually, these are 
like you will see that this particular object is holding certain parameters okay key value pair so you can specify those things here like an array of what do you call objects now you can put the condition actually here you can put some if else condition here only like let's say that you will say if android now how do you specify that android you can get that from the command line actually now you can specify like this and you can spe uh, specify here let's say platform equal to android npm run wdio only now what it will do it will go to the wdio main configuration now here you need to write a logic to accept this platform value based on that platform value you assign the capabilities okay based on this capability and also the port you assign the port and you keep all these things i mean this capabilities server all these things as an object here okay instead of specifying the static values here we'll see that in our upcoming sessions i'll give i'll do a demo actually on that but then the only thing that i'm trying to say is that based on different configurations based on different skill sets that you are having you can specify and uh, configure accordingly to make it more better if not then stick to these things i always prefer this one because this will be making sure that everything is very much isolated and you can debug or change whatever it is required in future it's okay to have multiple files but then you know what you are updating there okay so that's pretty much it for today uh, stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel we will see some more apm topics based on android and ios okay thank you for watching